Hello and welcome back. So now let's quickly create animation for our door. As you can see, it already have a animator. Let me just set this to none. Let's click on this animations right here. We will click on create. Let's add an animator controller and name this as create. Now let's click on that and let's simply drag and drop that in there. Now if we click on the gate, we click on the animations right here. Let's create an animation for this. So we are already in the animation tab and right here we can create an animation for the open gate. Click on save. Now right here you can click on this record and now let's open up this gate. So actually at first we will leave the door as it is. So just right here, type three, let's just move a few seconds. And now set this to seven. And now let's move up right here. Now let's change this to two. And then change this to four. Oops, we got that. Let me delete that right here. Let's change this to three. And I think this animation will be accurate. Actually, I go ahead and change the animation. Now, as you can see, this will be our animation. Right here, I leave the value as it is. Then right here, I change the value to two. And right here, I change the value to three. So this will be our animation for this door. Now if I click on this project right here we have this open gate animation. Okay. Let's go inside the animator, select the door okay and then go inside the animator and as you can see we already have the open gate animation right there. So what we will do let me move all of this right here and first of all let's create an empty state. Let's name this as I will get okay and make this transition as the default and name okay we have this open gate which we created right now and we can actually duplicate this open gate and now change this to close gate and right here we can make the speed minus one so it will play the open gate animation in the reverse form okay now we have the animations. Now let's just quickly go ahead and add the scripts to where which is required. Let's click on the main camera and right here we will assign this key a cast. So just drag and drop it. Right here the layer mask collective will be a collective layer and to that layer we will assign this door and the key. So right here click on that add a layer and let's add a layer by the name of collective now select the door set this to collective okay and let's go down click on the key and set this to collective let's change children okay make sure that the door and the key is on the layer collective and also if you see we need the collective tag by this name so just copy it come right here add a tag let's add a tag by the name of collective object click save select the door and change this to collective object and also change the key to collective object after this now if we go to the main camera the collective layer will be the collective okay basically as i told you this is the same process as we did for the shooting we are recasting uh, invisible ray from the main camera so that's why we attach this key recast script to our main camera and now from the main camera we will recast a layer and if that layer collides with anything that is on the collective layer for example the door and the key then it will do as we type in the script it will change the 
crosshair color to blue and if you are on the key we can pick up the key and then if you come to the door and press the F button we can open the door now as you can see here you can select whatever button you want but I will just leave my button as F now right here let's add our crosshair so let me check our crosshair was in the third person canvas so if we go inside the third person canvas okay we will drag and drop this crosshair and that will be it for this and if you want to bend any, any layer for example we have many layers right here for example the clear surface enemy if you want to bend that then simply type that layer name right there okay you are feel free to do that okay that is done now let's click on the door we need to add an empty game object let's name this as door lock ui and on this we will add a text mesh and let's move this text mesh right there okay right here type of text such as get locked let me change the name of it to get as well okay let's change it to 180 now change the scale to 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 let's focus on it okay we will show this text right down below there let's make it bold let's change this to this army font style and let's make the color a little bit or we can leave the color as well because we will then not see it correctly and actually we can change the font size to for example 40 or we can actually leave it as 0 okay so now we have the door lock text right there and let's just disable that after this let's open up this player and in here we will create an empty game object let's name this as key list or you can actually name this as backpack if you want this will be actually a backpack for a player and where we will store our key so i will just name this as key list okay and now if we select our door right here we have the gate controller and basically we will add the key gate regulator where is it key gate regulator okay attach that script to the gate we have both of the animations okay gate open and gate close let me just rename this to gate open and gate close okay Let's go ahead and click on the gate now we have the animations right here we need to provide the key list so we have created the key list right now in the player drag and drop the key list okay we can't drag and drop that because we need to provide the key list script right there so we get scripts let's add the script there okay and now if we click on the door now we can at the key list there and right here we need to provide this gate locked ui text and now we can provide the gate object regulator so where is it key object regulator i think this is the script okay and right here we will tell the script that yes this is the gate and we need to provide the key list right there so Try and drop the key list in here as well. Now we have everything set up for the gate. Now let's click on the key. And to this key, we will add the key object regulator. We will now tell this that this is the key. And right here, 
let's provide the key list up there okay we are now all set up okay we have added the tags there only thing which is left now is to add the colliders on the gate as you can see it already has a collider but if you are using some other gate then guys make sure that you have attached a box collider to the gate okay and also you have attached a box collider to the key so you don't have any box collider on the key let's quickly add that okay box collider let's make this is triggered whoops let me know Do this okay and then do that now we have a box collider on our key disable the enemies and actually what we can do let's create whoops let me go back let me click on that enemy right here create an empty game object by the name of enemies because we will have different enemies in the future videos okay so we need all of the enemies to be in here and uh, let's activate both of the enemies now and let's deactivate the main enemy game object now so we have the collider added now let's click on the player and move this player inside our mission area because we we are just testing our games we don't want to run towards the gate or the key again and again so we will just simply leave our player right here and now let's simply play the game okay we have the pause menu and everything let me lock the cursor now let's come closer to our key and as you can see when we come closer the crosshair color changes when we are facing the key as you can see now if we press the F button we have collected our key now we have we have the key now let me show you this if I come out of this let's uh, click on the player then on the key list now as you can see it has say that the player now has key okay so now let's come right here now as you can see the color changes to blue let's click the F button and as you can see it shows the door animation but it is a little bit messed up so in order to fix that let's click on the animation the gate animation and remove that loop time from there now let's play the game again okay and let me show it to you guys that if you click on this key list or actually the backpack of the player as you can see it shows that the player has no key but when you pick the key it will be then tick okay let me just go in maximize mode okay let me lock the cursor let's run towards first of all let's run towards the gate and you will notice that when you press the F button it shows that gate locked but now if we come right here and press the F button pick up the key now we have the key now let's run towards the gate and now let's press the F button now as you can see the gate is being opened and now we can go inside the gate but I think our box collider doesn't move with the gate so let me fix that let's go in the scene view let's scroll on this gate let's make this as triggered okay as you can see we have the box collider added and if you try to move the gate up there as you can see the box collider moves with the gate but I don't know why it doesn't move when you play the animation 
I don't know why it blocks the view. Let me remove the box collider, okay? Now it's still again. Let's run in the gate. Okay, you still can't move in the room. Let me move the door up there. Now the gate is opened. And as you can see, we still can't go. I don't know why this is happening. This is such a headache. Let me reverse the script back there. Let's check this wall. Okay, on this wall we have a box collider and we don't want a box collider on the wall. Okay, and if you click on the door, we need a box collider on the door now. Let's add a box collider. Let's set that to as triggered. Now let me take the key. Okay, press F. And if you come right here, press F. Okay, we ha we had a box collider on our whole world. You need to remove that box collider, okay? In order to go inside the gate. And on this wall, we need a mesh collider because we don't want to go between the walls, okay? And on this gate, we need a box collider. And also, let's select the gate. Let me remove the box collider because I tested the game and we can go between the gate as well. Okay, so on the gate, we also need a mesh collider. We have a mesh collider on this wall and we have a mesh collider on this gate. You can try different ways. I mean, you can try the box collider for your own game if you have different types of building and gate okay you can try the box collider for that but my one in my game uh, the mesh collider works just fine let me show you if i go in contact with the wall or with the gate as you can see i can't go inside the building and it shows that gate is locked now let's open up the key and then pick up the key and let's click on F. Now the door is open. Now we can go inside the door. And now, since we can open up our gate, the next thing will be the objectives. We will come right here and complete our objective. We will turn off this machine, and then when we come right here, we will deactivate both of these generators as well and then we will escape from the facility okay so let's do that in the next video